So what do we do after a nearly 20 month long quest comes to an end? The answer is take a little bit of a break. We'll be back to grinding specifically for a Great One Moose very soon, but today I want to head to Revenduli Coast and just go for a normal hunt. Now we are in multiplayer today as we typically are, and this particular server just happens to be Moose Drink Time, so kind of fitting. I did say in yesterday's video where we actually got the Great One Bear that we'd be going over on Twitch and grinding for a Great One Moose on tomorrow's live stream. So looking forward to that. But before we kind of dive back into all of that and the kind of constant that is grinding for a Great One, I wanted to go for a little bit more of a slow paced hunt. So we're starting off up here in the mountains of Reventuli. I want to kind of wander around, see if we can stumble into any kind of you know, Trophy Black Growls, Hazel Growls, even Caper Kaylee up here, and then we'll work our way south down to Raccoon Dogs and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully we can kind of cover the entire map, we'll see how much time we have and how efficient we can be, but I'm looking forward to a, a very different pacing for this hunt. So finally, found ourselves a Black Growls? Or perhaps we could say it found us. There also was a Hazel Growls that just flew through there. I think it's maybe a female? I had a female track, but there was like a mid weight range track around here as well, which I was thinking about maybe following. I just heard another black grouse. This one's a 114, so not bad. Pretty decent shot there at 21 meters as well. Let's just keep on scooting around. So that's gonna be the hazel grouse that flew through there. I kind of thought the other black grouse call was up in this direction, but no indicator came up. So it's kind of just going by ear. Just to clarify, this would not be the one that we heard earlier. We're pretty far from that point. Actually, I believe the one we heard earlier was a female, and it was interesting here too. It looked like a bunch of hens, and then the one that we got, unless I'm mistaken here, now maybe there were at least two males. That one's a low estimate. That's a higher estimate, so potentially there are other ones around. I saw a bunch of females fly away too. Let's go and get this one, and then I guess maybe we'll end up going back. There's one there. The thing is about their estimates too, that could be the max estimate one, or it could not be. One of those shots hit maybe two of them, not exactly our best work. This one's down right here against the base of this tree though, and then I guess we can go and see. So if it's above, yeah, that would be a max weight estimate one there. So it very well could have been that track that we had. I didn't really pay much attention, especially with spotting this other one. And then again, the estimate was there, this guy could have also been max weight estimate. And I said we hit him, obviously we did. But we didn't hit him well because he went really far, but the track obviously tells us he is not in the max range, just a 109 score. But because the other one was, I'm gonna guess that was the one that we had the track from, kind of because we're over here almost into this swamp. And while we're not here for Moose, it's the end of Moose drink time, we should at least check the spot because it is so good for them. And obviously it's good for other stuff too, so we'll go and give that a look. Got a level 7 brown bear running off there too. We had to get a little bit outside the swamp, but we've got our first caper Kaylee of the day. Try to line it up, second shot got there, and at least, what is he, four to five as a minute, at least he's a better size one, but that's the first one we've even seen. I picked up a couple of tracks, but none have actually been around, and normally, we hunt around here long enough, one will find us. By the way, just got a black grouse sitting there, I mean... Not gonna hurt anything, we can take those off the ground. And at least by the looks of things, those are gonna be among our last kind of bird kills before we head south. Still got plenty of opportunities for really all those species as we go down there, but we've shot quite a few birds, just nothing quite up to the diamond requirements. So we'll grab that caper Kaylee, and then I think we're gonna start to make our way down through here. So there's a lot of people in the center of the map, we'll try to skirt around the edge but I think it's it's right about time to make that change. As for this guy, oh, maybe, so someone just left the server. Sometimes that'll happen and it'll just give you like a, a little bit of lag. It's still not working. It may be time to switch servers and head south because that just simply is not coming up. There we go. Okay, so someone else was maybe in the, in the middle of crashing or disconnecting or something. That's what was going on there. 4.41 score. We'll stay here for now. I think we're okay. Let's head down to the southern part of the map. I can't even be bummed out by this. We just stumbled into 
a mythical raccoon dog like so often will hit a max estimate track and you know spending a bunch of time following it and then it leads to a mythical that can be kind of a letdown i wasn't even remotely prepared to spot that and for it to be that big we're so used to spotting level threes and fours basically that that was just a welcome surprise just a great variant a 8.52 score not bad in the first shot from the 22-250 actually got it done. Second shot actually didn't do us much better. Got the spinal cord and insta-killed him. Not a bad one, though. We'll definitely take that. See if anything else is hiding down here in that kind of quality range. Well, interestingly enough, there's another max estimate raccoon dog track down here. So I'm kind of guessing it's not terribly far away. Rarely do you track these things super far. We are seeing, though, that straight line track forming already, so probably he's warped across the map to somewhere, but hopefully not very far away. I just don't get the impression that they ever travel very far, so I think even in warping to whatever zone that he probably warped to, I bet it's probably just a couple hundred meters away, if that. Well, sadly, moving in the wrong direction. He's going to be a level 7, finally slow into a trot, though. And because he's only a 7, we'll definitely try to get that shot on the move. I still want to try to make sure we get a good hit, because I, I don't think we got to stir veg. So just in case he would be something unique, though now that I'm looking at it, I think he's probably just the gray variant. We'll at least try to get it. We're kind of off to the side. Okay, that was weird. I think we still got him. You can do that, though, where basically when you hit them and they roll, you can normally line up a second shot, but... Having no breath and then him warping a couple of meters there? That made that a little tougher to accomplish than it would otherwise have been. Just making sure, because we've already had a couple of big animals down in here. None of those look to be special. But two solid raccoon dogs in a row like that. Can't say we've done that a whole lot. He was barely any different. 8.42 this time. Liver shot. Lucky as it may have been, two golds will take that. Well, would you look at that? 198 to 239 piebald. Will he be 239 then? Because I think that's the 230s rack. I actually, I don't think all rare white tails score at the top of the resume, at least not anymore. But I'm thinking that is a 230s buck. I just want to make sure there's nothing else crazy going on. But that is around 200 meters. So I say we sneak a little bit closer, and by sneak I mean run. <laughs> and we'll try to take him. With the 44, I want to get into like exactly 150, because the bullet drop on that is pretty significant, and we just want to get to where that's not going to be a factor. So 160 may be it as we kind of drop down to that hill. Zero for that range. Right in the crease, that's going to bring him down. If that is indeed a 230 like I think it is, that's going to go in the main lodge on the wall. So we've got, I think it's like a, it's an old 230s, albino i'm pretty sure maybe 220s but it's even smaller than what like a now 220s buck would be and then we have a mellow opposite that i think this could be taking the place of one of those that's a crazy Revan Tuli kill and i'll even i'll show you in the chat the time just got changed to 9 44 a.m it was not white tail drink time in this server it got changed i came up here <laughs> look what's waiting on us and of course, Vital Blood, not that anything else could have taken him down that quickly. So we will get the medal. That's got to be a 230s rack. 239.41 indeed. Double lunged him. What an awesome buck. So I definitely think too, like with the piebald markings on the neck and head, that could look pretty cool. It would be a good one in a full body platform, but frankly, in the same room that I'm talking about putting this guy, we have our Pieball Diamond from the Great One Grind. Speaking of Great One Grinds. So I think that'll work. A little break from all the grinding. Come to Revan Tulico, it's just a chill hunt. One of our best rare white tail ever. And that is kind of saying something from the luck that we had back in the day. So back onto the south part of the map here on Revan Tuli. And the first thing we find is a pretty big level 4 moose. I don't think he has any shot at diamond because he's got no brow tines. Kind of unique though, like that tine on the right flares way down. Because I think it's matching this one on the other side that goes up. That's actually really cool. This has been a weird hunt though, because for one, we can't stay in the same server. We're either failing to synchronize or we're getting kicked. 
I mean, it's just over and over and over again, we keep ending up in a different server. And normally when that happens, I try to join one that is a similar time to the last. So this one happens to be like the end of Whitetail Drink Time, beginning of Moose Drink Time. And we find this guy. I think just because he actually is kind of cool and I'm not sure with those sort of oddities what he may score, we're probably going to try to go for a fairly safe shot here. And that would just mean a fairly lengthy track. Stop long enough to get a shot in there. No gun I trust more to punch through the shoulder of a moose than the 44 lever action. Gonna take some time for him to start to go down, but I do expect that health to drop any second, and there we go. Like I said, lengthy track. Luckily, moose aren't that fast. And the longer we can watch them, the more that we can cut off. I'm actually really curious to get like an up-close look at that, because he seems pretty unique. You know, I do have to say, I'm wondering if that was vertebrae. Because it was a very low bleed rate. But look at that time there. That's really cool. And then again, the opposite from his other side actually is vertical. So, now we hit him in the lung. I'm surprised he ran that far. 257 score. That is pretty darn neat though. If there were Euro mounts in this game, I think I'd be Euro mounting that just for that rack. That is one of those true rack kind of artifacts you just don't see very often. I really like that. That might be my favorite kill, and we shot a huge piebald whitetail today. Not going to tax him, though, because there's not really much to do with him other than just take down a diamond in favor of a gold. But perhaps now that we are down here and now that we got a moose, we can get something other than a raccoon dog from the south part and... Actually, we're all the way over here already, so we might be looping back around. Well, that is not a raccoon dog, although it is a predator species. Another max estimate down here on the south part of the island, a level 7 brown bear. You know, if he's just going to sit there right at 150, even though that's kind of, kind of a weird angle, I think we can hit this. I'm not going to bother trying to get the heart. I think we just go to the side of the spine try to land in a lung and because this gun's so powerful just a follow-up to try to get him down more quickly he's already dropping like compare that to the moose now bears run much faster so we may track him about the same distance but time wise he ought to be down way quicker actually not bad at all so i ran by and decided to mark it the exact location that we hit that brown bear Hundred and where did it even go? Hundred and twelve meters, wouldn't that be fitting? And he goes down. Left long shot followed by intestine, stomach, and liver. The fact that that was a vital hit at that angle is wild enough. Twenty-six point zero eight score, I believe that says, hiding behind the chat. Not a bad little bear, and finally, some variety. And go figure, had two max estimate raccoon dogs earlier, two max estimate brown bears now. Gonna make it awkward with that one kind of getting in the way. Very much in the way. I think that follow-up shot got in there. It was really close to spine. I'm guessing the rate at which he's going down means we got that. I think he's gonna be our last kill. Like I said, this hunt's been kind of all over the place with a bunch of different servers and all that. Kind of cool though the way everything went down. We started off with a bunch of birds, mostly black grouse hunting. I think we had a caper Kaylee in there. Got down here to the south. Raccoon dogs up there for Whitetail for their drink time, back down south, two big brown bear and a pretty cool looking moose. And I think that's a good way to head back to our trophy lodge then to take a look at the new Whitetail. So before we do that, one very much not good shot followed by a much better one. Double lung right in there below the spine. 414 kilo and a 26.64 score. Not too bad. All right, let's go. I have been waiting to see what this white tail looks like on the wall for a while now. And I mentioned when we got him, just here in this room up on the wall, we have a 225 albino. That is from April of 2022. I thought we shot it even longer ago than that. Then the melanistic at 224 from December of that same year. I just think this is going to look better. And the fact that he is considerably bigger is a huge part of that. So I'm thinking a pose where we're looking to the side. Eh, maybe front on is actually going to be better. Let's sort of do the mirror image of that. I like it. Got a 239 piebald and a 224 melanistic. And our albino is going to go in the lodge 
Fitting we're running past that guy, just a little recent kill. But in a whole bunch of Trophy Lodge tours, this old 266 piebald that was not a potential diamond, when we shot him, 272 was the requirement? I kind of have to explain that every time, and since we've added a new piebald that is basically the same size, just shy of diamond like that one was, I say we put the albino there. So just a little bit of reshuffling, but counting the multi-mount out front, we still get to keep two albinos and two pie balls here in the lodge. And I do like, you know, keeping with the, the more modern scoring and stuff. Because that 266, it would be a diamond now. Obviously, it wasn't back then. Explaining that every time we just get further and further away from when that was the reality. But that was pretty darn cool. A 239 on our little kind of in-between break. Going from bear grinding to moose grinding on tomorrow's Twitch stream. Pretty darn cool to make that kind of upgrade to the lodge. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.